Hello, welcome to the stream. This is just going to be a chill. I have nothing to do and it's freezing fucking cold today in the flat. Uh, so the heating has just been turned on. I decided I'm going to stream and just snuggle up under a blanket. Really wanted to do some Pokemon basically and yes, uh, we are going to be doing some Pokemon then. Uh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, next, I remember last time we were just doing some training up on Iron Island. We went through the whole bit with, uh, what's their face? Uh, I can't remember what they're called now. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go to Iron Island and, and see what we can do over there. Because yes, we want to do more, um, training. It's just gonna be a chill training stream for the next couple of hours because yeah I thought that was nice and something I wanted to do anyway wait what's this place by the way did I ever check this place I can't remember uh no not not that I there's nothing here that I can see I wonder if this is where someone's supposed to be I have no idea anyway uh I would like Huh. Okay, so it's cold in Snowpoint, apparently. Surprisingly, the place called Snowpoint. I mean, although to be fair, they did name they did name one place, you know, in the world, Greenland when it's icy and Iceland when it's greeny. Um, greeny, yes. Uh, that's exactly what I meant to say. But yes. Um. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm gonna do is basically just. Um, we, we're gonna be doing training up. Fury Cutter. Is that super effective? I can't remember. Wild Gravel use Rock Blast. That is super effective, isn't it? Shit. That is, that is an issue. Please don't hit three times. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, never mind. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch out to someone. No, someone else. God, I forgot that. I forgot that Zag that um Blade was. <sighs> well, whatever. It's fine. Rock Blast is a bad move to to have used on you when you're a flying type. Okay, noted. Noted. Uh, good. Good. Glad we got, glad we got that figured out. Uh, we're gonna just head back to the city then um i'm really sorry blade that wasn't my intention at all uh oh goodness jeez i love the fact that you can just fly around wherever you want to go although i am surprised there's not a pokemon center on the island you know somehow i thought that would be a thing but no it isn't Right, let's, yeah, head out to the island. Oh, I really hope, I really hope Blade doesn't hate us right now. Although, one thing I was thinking of... I wonder if anyone can learn Blizzard. Okay, uh, Pippin can. Pippin can learn Blizzard. I can't remember exactly what it does. Um, hang on. Let's just, uh, click on this. Uh, yes. Right, so, what does Blizzard do? A Howling Blizzard to strike... To, is summoned to strike the foe. It may also freeze the target solid. 120. I mean, it's better than Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet is kind of... Aqua Jet is kind of annoying. I don't like it. I wish it was slightly higher in terms of damage because then it would be more worth it. But it's also our one that we have that's like high... Uh, high... Um, that's high... Uh, thingy. I'm trying to think. But yes, also, I realised one thing we can do, actually, is, um... Yeah, we have a thing to do. Because we got a shiny stone. And that means we can technically upgrade Roselia into Roserade. And Roserade's pretty good. 
Uh, move Pokemon, yes. If we went over to uh, the favorites bit, yes. And you know what, let's switch out someone who isn't going to be much use on the island. Oh no, you are really good, you are really good. Okay, who don't we need to level up? No, honestly, all of them need leveling up, that's the issue. I guess we just come back for Rosilia at some point, level them up a bit more, and then just give them some, uh, yeah. Some stuff. Anyway, right, let's, uh, head over this way. I wonder if there's anything in the library. Uh, no, you know what? That might set off story stuff. I can't remember if it does until you've beaten the gym. Uh, although, you know what? Fuck it, let's go in. It won't set off story stuff just yet, I don't think, because we haven't completed the gym, so they're not going to send us off on a random goose chase. Hello, this is the Canon Love Library. Keep quiet while you're on the premises. Uh, the ceiling high bookshelves are crammed with books. Huh, okay, so yeah. I'm going to just walk because it's polite, uh, although I do want to run because... Right. Yeah, it's intriguing. The books on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are too tough for me to understand. Okay. Wait, wasn't there someone on the first floor that I missed? I can't remember. But yeah, this this doesn't set off anything just at the moment. Right. What is it? Please don't tell me when I'm reading. Fair enough. Wait, does that say anything? Please refrain from bringing food or beverages into the library. You can't tell me what to do. Um, right. Hello. Someone's always checked out the book I want to read. That makes sense. This book is titled Sinnoh's Region's Mythology. Yes. Okay, long ago. Okay, it, this is... That is not to say that they did not help each other. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. Uh, to always be ready to help humans, it asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always, thus to this day appear to us. Okay. Last oops, weep not sorrow. I'm guessing those are Uxi, Thingy, and Thingy, right? I don't know. On this floor you may find books dedicated to the myths uh, and legends of Sinnoh. Okay, this book is titled Sinnoh's Myth. Into the lake they dove, deep, deep, drawing their breath, deeper, deeper they dove. Deeper, deeper, blah, 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 they rise again. Okay, Veilstone myth, yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay, and then something about to which the if you bear your sword to bring harm to it upon us with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll from your kind. We will take our toll for it. It must be done. Then it must be to guard ourselves and for it. I apologize. Would you like to keep reading? Okay. Okay. I don't know about this. I'm. I'm just. Ah. Uh, okay. So stuff. Uh, I kind of want to read all the mythology things. Right, let's see if it's quiet. Uh, from itself to beings, the original one made. Time started to spin, space started to expand. From itself, three living things. Okay. Okay, this is really cool. In an imbalance Huh, okay. Okay, Sino folk stories. You know what? Yeah. Oops, I accidentally clicked a thing. Sorry. I'm um, right. Okay. You know what? It's all just it's all just myths around the legendary Pokemon and stuff. I love the fact that it's here, but also I'm not that interested. Um, <laughs> it's kind of blandly written, but I suppose... Nah, that doesn't make sense really, but hey. 
Anyway, yes, let's head back to Iron Island. And you know what? Let's switch you out for someone else who's actually going to be able to attack without getting hurt too much. Do you have... Uh... No, wait, do you already have an I item? Wait, what was your item you carried? EXP share, okay. Right, you did have the EXP share, good. We're gonna get you up to level 40 today. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get other people up to level 42. Because I, I think I'm aiming for level 40 for all of them, or most of them. Right, yes, and uh, we head across, and perfect. Yeah, we are in this place. Esri found a star piece. I... cool. Um, also, wait. Do we... is there more stuff around? But yeah, that's one of the hidden items that I've been probably missing a lot of, because I suck at actually remembering to search for things. Because it's kind of piercing, in a way. Right, let's head down. I don't know whether this is all going to be... yeah, this is all going to be just Graveler. Cool. I should have walked around with Riley more. Riley, it was Riley, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, I'm wishing I walked around with Riley more because at this point I'm like, oh, well, this is, this is kind of going to be annoying, isn't it? Hopefully self-destruct won't be enough to blow me up. Yeah, it wasn't. Good. I wonder how much damage self-destruct does. Huh. I'm still not 100% sure on that, but I imagine it's something to do with... It's, it might be just their entire health bar, however much damage, however much health they have, they do that much damage. Also, I'm 100% heading the wrong way. Um, right. Zubat! Golbat even. That one. Right, the wild Golbat used Bite, which isn't very effective. Yeah. And we use Strength. Awesome. Yeah, this should be great. Hopefully what we can do is we can get it down to... Oh shit, not Confuse right. Yeah, hopefully what we can do is we can get it down to low health so I can actually catch a Golbat for once. Because quite often I haven't been able to because of whatever. Uh, right, and yes, a... let's just use a normal Pokeball for now. See if that works, and if that doesn't work, we'll upgrade to another one. One, two, three, and... Golbat is caught! Right. Also, I wanted to check... Randomizer. Ah, yes. Changed evolutions. And, yeah, Diamond Pearl Platinum. Uh, right. Yes. Level 37 plus... It, it levels up at level 37 plus. Right. Right. And, yeah, that should be fine. Right. Let's... oh shit. But yeah, I'm wondering what the uh, damage calculation is for the... Whatchamacallit? Uh... God, I can't... I can't think of the word. Shit, that's the wrong way. Also, wait, hang on. I'm pretty sure there was one item I missed as well, so we might we might get that on the way. But you know, for now, we're just doing this. 
Right, and yeah, low kick should be enough to take care of you. Perfect. Hopefully. Yep, perfect. Right. Yeah, that way goes down to an item. That wasn't somewhere we could actually do anything. However, one thing I was thinking was, yeah, we could actually see if people want to battle again using the thingy thing face. Whatever it's called. Um, god. I'm trying to think now. The, uh, versus Seeker. I'm guessing people here are willing to battle more than once, right? Also, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we should make sure that the right Pokemon are out. I suppose Blade works. Uh, Blade is one that we need to upgrade a bit. Yeah, I'm still thinking through whether I want to actually uh, up level, uh, you know, evolve uh, Scyther into Schizor. Right. Right, okay, so yeah, we use... No, you know what, we'll switch out to Sparky, yes. On me. And yeah, we'll use Spark. Ooh, wing attack is not very effective. I don't know why it even bothered. Sorry, my my mug is making noises because of the tea. Because of the tea uh, spoon, I'm just removing it. There we go. Perfect. It shouldn't make a noise anymore. There we go. Zagreus grew to level 37. Fire Blast? What does Fire Blast do again? Is that the really, really powerful one? Yeah, that's the really powerful one. Okay, so that's physical. And that's special. That does 40 damage. Flame Wheel also does... Flame Wheel does 60 damage. Okay, but with Fire Spin, we have one that's actually, hmm. Stomp is pretty powerful. Hmm. I don't like, I still don't like Fire Spin. I don't like those attacks that are hard to hit with. And also, you know, like, don't do that much damage at all. You know what, we'll make it forget Fire uh, Spin and instead Fire Blast. Yeah, perfect. Is Fire Blast the one that's like Blair Witch Project sign? I can't remember. Uh, let's go for the first Seeker. No, but we're in a cave! This is where people want to fight! Well, that's just rude, Professor Rowan. If that even is your real name. Uh, also, what I'm gonna do is I'm just I'm just gonna check the moves. How powerful is that compared to low kick and karate chop? That's 50, and it has a chance, and it has a high critical chance. Right. Let's go for karate chop. Uh, it's fine. Basically, just take them out as fast as possible, because otherwise you might just end up... Oh, fuck. Great. Really loving, really loving this. <sighs> right. Do we have a... I really hate self-destruct and stuff. Can we just get rid of that stuff? It's really annoying. Uh, do we have a revive? Absolutely not. No. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to switch someone out for you, and I'm guessing that'll be Pippin. Yeah, perfect. Right, yeah, let's head down this way. I can't believe we didn't get that much training in with Thingy, but hey. Um, right, yes. Graveler, okay. Okay, right, so, yes, let's use Aqua Jet. I'm pretty sure the advantage of Aqua Jet is it always hits first. That is the pure only advantage of it. 
and I guess it's really effective against things that are weak to it, but, you know, it's not exactly the most powerful move in, in this slightest, so, you know, I don't know, I'm feeling slightly weird about it. It's fine, though. If it's called a mountain, you can be sure I'll climb it. Huh. Okay, we can do this. Right. Jet should be fine for you. Okay, and yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's one thing I must be right. Hmm. Right. Okay, let's try Steel Wing as well. Metal Claw, Metal Claw, that one. It's like Steel Wing, but instead with claws as opposed to, like, wings. I'm pretty sure Steel Wing is... I, I can't remember whether Steel Wing's more powerful or whether it's just a thing. I can't remember. Okay, so we definitely... Oh, that was a critical, that's why it did well. Good. And yeah, I'm still not 100% sure how we're supposed to be um, dealing with all of this. This, I, this dungeon's actually kind of short. I just realized that this dungeon's kind of short. I'm surprised, but not utterly. Uh, right. Yeah, let's go for Surf. Air Cutter, ouch. That's fine. I don't think that's very effective. Yeah, because of steel type. Steel type is not very effective against that. You know what would be nice if if the if the uh, HMs were actually really powerful moves as opposed to just not that interesting, not that good, etc. But no, they really they really hate giving you useful moves. Ooh. Right. Zagreus game 403. Right. How's how's Zagreus doing, by the way? Zagreus is level 37. Sisyphus is, is out for the count. Oh shit, there's that! There's a Pokeball right there that I haven't got yet. Huh, I wonder if it's somewhere around here, though. Right, and yes, let's use Surf. Shit. <sighs> well, it's fine. Um, right. Yeah, Golbat's faster than Empoleon, turns out. Even very low level, uh, Golbat. Right. Okay, so Dark isn't very effective against Steel either. There's a lot of strengths that Steel has, which is nice. Right. And yeah. Ah, shit. Okay, so we have to go round, I guess? I don't know. Right. Jet. Perfect. That should be fine against you. Oh shit, that didn't quite take it out. I wonder what... Yeah, that's ground type. I can't remember whether that's... I can't remember how that affects... Oh shit, it's super effective. Okay, that's that's an issue. Yes. Um, never mind. We just... We just... We're just gonna... Oh, God. Never mind, this went wrong. Astonish. While Grabler flinched. Gus is surprisingly powerful for having so much XP. Um... 
for having so much a pee pee even. Right. Never mind, we're just gonna get out of here. Thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you be willing to take it? Oh, I don't have any space. Fuck. Hang on, we need to we need to get out of here fast. I think we're gonna need to use a uh, escape rope. Oh god, if only we had something that knew, like... Oh, come on, it has to be around here somewhere, right? Shiny stone. Oh, come on, it has to be around here somewhere. Um... Do, 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 do. Escape rope, yeah, let's escape. I'm pretty sure that just takes us back to the entrance. Yeah, okay, it does. Good. Um, and then what we can do is we can use a fly to get back to the city. Yeah, but um, we've really fucked up. Oh, uh, I didn't realize. Is ground type super effective against steel? I didn't realize. Right. Okay. Um, it's fine. Right. Okay, so yeah, we uh, heal you up. Yeah, I should go through... Oh, for fuck's sake, we have to go through a fucking third time. Right, um... Yeah, let's uh, move Pokemon. Okay, one thing is, you can go over to flying, because that's where you're supposed to go. Uh, flying, yes. Wait, didn't we catch a Zubat ever? Apparently not. Um, yeah. Uh, and then I was also going to take one of these bastards uh, from here and give them... You know what? Let's uh, move you. Oh, I can't... I can't just... No, you know what? I can't just do that. Um, you are going back down here for a second because we don't need any rock breaking or anything in there. And yeah, Empoleon works just fine as our up front uh hey seth ricky how's it going um i always i always start with just hey seth uh well yes and then i'm like no it's seth ricky um but yeah how's it going uh yeah we're just doing chill uh <laughs> leveling up so it's not exactly the most riveting stream in the world right I need to go and get an egg, though, from what's a face Riley. Okay, so yeah. Come on, just hurry up. I know it's a very quick loading screen, but it still annoys me. Um, <laughs> I just get annoyed fast. Uh, but yes, let's go and get collect that egg, because obviously it's probably useful to... I can't remember which way it is. I think it's this way. What kind of sipping some chamomile and vibing? What kind of tea did you get? Oh, just uh, Earl Grey because it's it's my it's my middle of the day. Well, it's my all kinds of day tea. Oh, chamomile is nice though. I need to get some chamomile. Mmm. Oh God. Now I'm just thinking about chamomile tea. Thanks. Um. But yeah, I'm um, just some Earl Grey because it's my classic go-to tea at this point. Right. Okay, so yes, let's uh, head along and hope we don't get into too many fights because I want to get through here fast-ish. Um, right. Okay, cool. Right, um, I think it's this way. Shit. Well, whatever. And, yep, Aqua Jet. I mean, Aqua Jet is a pretty useless move sometimes, but it is very good about for just defeating Pokemon that are weak to it very, very fast. Because they don't even get a hit in. It's nice. Uh, I suppose it's good for going through lots of battles in this kind of area. Fast-ish. 
Also, yes, there was that one bit down here that I meant to go to that I kept, that I forgot about last time. And then, well, obviously, oh shit, it's a Steelix. Uh, right, we're not going to just use a boring old move, we're going to use Surf. And yeah, we already have a Steelix, a Steelix, a Steelix. Okay, never mind. That was enough. I thought we'd have to do more battling, but no. Um, right. Zagreus is still not leveled up. Uh, right. Is it this way, then? I'm guessing it's somehow, like, around and up like that, and then down, and then back on ourselves to get that one item that I missed. The one item in the entire dungeon that I fucking missed. Right. You are going to get smooshed in the face. Oh, for fuck's sake! I hate it. Why? Why, though? <sighs> well, it's fine. That's not very effective because it's a fucking... Uh, air move. Air move? Flying type move. Um, <laughs> an air type move. Right. Right, okay, Zagreus. No, I thought Zagreus would level up then. I don't think they are going to for a bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, this is the point where things get very annoying, okay? God damn it. <sighs> I shouldn't be annoyed because this was the whole point, but sometimes I just get annoyed at this kind of thing. Like, oh yeah, you have to go through the same fight like a gazillion times just to get somewhere. And it's like... You could at least put some more variety in the game. Hey, Zagri's up to level 38. Nice. Right. Oh, fuck. That isn't... That isn't a way... Oh, my God. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Okay. Okay, let's just use Surf. Get it down fast, because, uh, yeah. That ground-type weakness uh, means that it is very vulnerable to ground-type attacks. Not to ground- to water-type attacks, even. Uh, that one. Right, 490. Hey, almost up to level 39, Pippin. You're doing well. Right. Shit. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. We can do this. Right. Okay. Um, this is gonna be fine. We can just do this. Right, you are going to go... Oh, fuck. Just not. Didn't... Just didn't get it. But hey, we'll, we'll figure out a way to do it now. Um, Metal Claw. It used Sandstorm, which doesn't affect either of us because I'm steel. And it's ground and rock. So, hey, well done, well done to the Steelix. And level 39. <laughs> nice. Uh, Whirlpool, uh, wait. Isn't Whirlpool an HM in the user is trapped inside a fast, vicious Whirlpool that lasts two to five turns? Yeah, that's an HM in Gen 2. No, we're not learning Whirlpool because it's completely useless. No, I wanted to... Right, give up on Whirlpool. Awesome. Come on, we can find this place, right? No, that's not the right place. Um, here! Yes, I've actually found it. Good. Um, yeah, and then... For fuck's sake. This is annoying. Fucking Steelix. Right. Brian, that wasn't supposed to be what I used, but hey, um, we're gonna go with it then. Um, it's still enough. Good. Brian is really effective, honestly. It's a really good move. I don't know why I've never really paid attention to it before, but it is actually really good. It um does double damage, I think. When it when the opponent's below half health, which is very, very nice indeed. Right. Steelix again. Wow, so many Steelix. I can't believe we can... Okay. 
this is just seems weird. Sometimes it seems like I'm getting so many wild encounters. You know? Ugh, oh, well, whatever. Oh wow, all that for an HP up, which I think raises the base attack stat by, like, fucking one or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, that's that's so useful. Thanks for that. Ah, uh, well, whatever. There's not much we can do about it. Right, level 34 Graveler. That's quite powerful, but it's dead anyway, so hey. Um, level 34 is one of the highest levels I've had. Uh, right. Let's get back over this way. Uh, we can get that egg on the way out. And yeah, I wonder what egg it is, though, because I have absolutely no idea. Um, I hope it's not something I already have, or I'm going to be very annoyed that I went to all this trouble to get it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, also, also, I'm... I played a little bit of Genshin because I was like, I better play a light little bit just to get used to the controls and see what I can change, etc. It's a good game. I, I enjoyed it for the 10 minutes I played it. Um, so, so the Thursday stream should be fun and maybe it'll come on Saturday too, depending on how I enjoy the... Oh shit, it, this has a high special, this has a high defense. How did it... Never mind, it's fine. Ah! Okay, that's super effective. Okay, we're gonna take it out now. Otherwise... Otherwise, this might be an issue. Right. Ah, uh, okay. Thursday hype! Yeah, I know it's weird to do it on Thursday, but I didn't want to do it, like, off the cuff just today without people knowing about it, so, you know, we'll, we'll do it on Thursday. Um, I was, also, I don't have the energy to do a big stream today. I was like, I'm gonna do some chill, chill thingy. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it'll be... Um... Yeah, but the preview for Thursday is I've died, uh, five times trying to get to the top of a hill for a screenshot. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, Thursday's gonna be great. It's not gonna go wrong at all. Right, it's super effective. Self-destruct. Ah! Is self-destruct super effective? I can't remember. No, it isn't. It's not very effective. I wonder what type self-destruct is. I've never really seen it. Oh, shit. Oh. <sighs> God damn it. I hate this bit of Pokemon games. I've had to go through this place three times, which I suppose is good experience for my Pokemon. But also, like, Jesus Christ. Right, and yeah. Hopefully what we can do is we can get Zagreus up to, uh, you know, the level where it will evolve into a beautiful, beautiful Rapidash. Level 40, I think. Um, as far as I remember from looking it up, it was level 40. Anyway. Right. Oh! Also, it is getting very warm in here. I think maybe the, the turning the heating on was a bad idea, because with the computer being warm too from streaming, I think maybe, maybe things are going a bit too warm in here. But hey, it'll be fine. It's not going to go on for long. Maybe I will get rid of the blanket. I was wearing... Okay, I had a blanket on because I was like, I am cold, and now I am not cold, so I had to get rid of the blanket. <laughs> but hey, also, Riley, you had an egg to give me. Uh, yes. Hey, what I, What would... I'd like to, you to show the Pokemon that's inside the egg all sorts of new places. Spending time with you was always, was very enjoyable. I intend to test my skills in other places from now on. 
Let's meet again, take care on the way out. Okay. Nice, so uh, they are going to go on to other places. That's very nice indeed. And yes, let's head along this way. Hooray. Yeah, that gravel agreed. <laughs> Yay. Right, and Aqua Jet. Okay, that should be enough to take you down. Nice. Yeah, for some reason there were a few bits where it was like, oh yeah, this um this did way less damage, and I don't know why. I don't know why it was like that. Um, also, is there anything hidden here, by the way? It seems weird to have such a big, empty room. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Okay. Ah, yes, that's the bit where we found the metal coat. Okay. Is there anything else in here, though? Because it seems weirdly empty. Okay? This seems way too big to just be empty and with one metal coat in it. And it makes me suspicious. But also, like, I'm not going to say no. So... Yeah, this should be fine as well. Um, I wonder if there's anything hidden around here, though. No, I don't think so. Right. I wonder if uh, this is some someone... I can't believe you can't sleep in here or something. That's very annoying. But hey, it's fine. Uh, right. Let's head into... Yeah. Back to Thingy. Although I could have used Fly because that would have been easier. Um... <laughs> Whatever. It would have cut off all of this bit, but hey. Um... No, not Byron. Fuck off, Byron. Fuck off, Byron. No one cares about you. The starters... I... <sighs> Fucking... Why? Right. Yes, let's rest our Pokémon, because Machoke is, uh, slightly not doing okay. Right. Um, also, yeah, we now have an egg. Also, I was thinking... Do I want... Like, I do kind of want... a uh, Blade to evolve. See, that's part of the thing, is I really want Blade to evolve. It'd be so nice. But also, I'm not sure how to do it without, you know... I'm not sure when to do it. I suppose, like, level 35, level 40, maybe? I don't know. Also, the other thing is, uh, yeah, Machoke. Mach... 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 Not Machoke. Um... God, I'm trying to think now. Uh, Ma... Ma... One of the... Machamp! Machamp is the third evolution. We want Machamp too, which should be evolving at some point, right? I don't know. Uh, also, yeah, that'll be a Mr. Mime. Hooray, I guess. Blade used Fury Cutter. Perfect. Uh, reflect uh, increases defense. And that hit again. Nice. It's super effective. But it failed. Yeah, Reflect means that it raises its defense, but Fury Cutter almost counters uh, defense stuff, which is interesting. Um, also, False Swipe. Yeah. Good. Uh, Psybeam. Okay, that's... Okay, bla Blade. Hold on. Okay, you're good. Right. Let's uh, use a Pokeball on you. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Mime should be... Okay. Oh, shucks. Shucks. Oh, shucks. I don't know why I said that. I was aiming for oh shit and then oh, oh fuck. And then I said oh shuck. Uh, which was, you know, classic. Um, <laughs> well, let's upgrade to a, a great ball. One, two, and three. Oh. No! Fuck you! Fuck you! Light screen, razors. Yeah. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go for another. It should catch this time, okay? Okay? Fingers crossed. Oh, you absolute cock. 
Although, nice thing is, I guess it doesn't, you know... Aha! Now it's on 1... A, a, 1 HP. Hopefully that means it's easier to catch. Ah, <sighs> well, whatever. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. That extra one HP off was worth it, clearly. Fucking what? Um, right. I need you to make a swear jar emoji. I really do need to do that. Hey, Caesar, how's it going? Good day, Caesar. Uh, good day, Caesar, I could say. Um, I... <laughs> I should definitely make a swear jar emoji. Cause um <gasps> Floatzel! Ooh, I haven't caught Floatzel yet. Oh shit! Um, well. While Floatzel used crunch. Ouch. That's gonna be painful. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Blade. Oh cock, we're gonna switch you out. Never mind. Or we're just going to use a, uh, Hyper Potion. Uh, no, we could just use a Moo Moo Milk. I hate the fact they're called Moo Moo Milks. It's just so awful. The only thing is I don't have the emoji slots to do a swear jar remote. Um, so, uh... Oh well. Right, and Fury Cutter. Shit. Ooh, hey, thank you, Zombie Dracula, for the follow. This is not the most interesting one to, to follow me on, but thank you. Um, <laughs> I swear, there's more interesting streams than this. Right. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, cock. Just fainted. Damn it. Okay, right. Is this a challenge run? No, this is just a casual playthrough run. This is, I, I do not like, I, I'm just doing, I'm just doing a casual playthrough. Um, because I don't like doing challenge runs in Pokemon. Uh, yeah, so it's just, uh, any rules, no rules. Um, <laughs> I have considered doing like a Nuzlocke or something, but I, I don't like the idea of having to have to never use fainted Pokemon because I suck at Pokemon. Um, <laughs> which, it would go wrong very fast, okay? That's what would happen just so fast. God, I... Right, um, also, Zagreus is at level 39. Okay. Wait, so that means you're almost up to the level you need to be to evolve. Okay. Which is nice. Also, wait, I just need to look this up because the randomizer mod. Okay, it does mean that level 37 plus. But, I'm not sure... Huh. No, I'm not sure... I'm not sure whether, whether there's uh, a... I'm not sure whether I actually have the randomizer mod installed, because I suppose the way to test it out is to evolve um, Scyther into Schizor by giving it the metal coat and then leveling it up, but I don't want to risk that because I'm not sure whether I want Scyther to evolve, because I quite like bug and flying. I don't want it to turn to bug and not flying. Um, <laughs> bug and steel, although that is just a superior thing. Also, apparently this one only knows Mud Bomb, so good job to it. Yeah, for starters, I won't have the advantage of not being hit by some things, although I suppose that's replaced by not being hit by poison instead. I don't know, it's fine. We'll figure out something. I need to think about that, because it's actually, it's actually something that I'm not 100% sure on, which I usually am like, early Esri stream, yes! Hey Alex, how's it going? Um Right. Okay. Let's just Floats all. Hello Floats all. How are you doing? Uh right. Ah, let's use wing attack 
because oh my god it's using it's certainly going okay good i'm i'm glad it's going at least moderately um <laughs> right let's use wing attack again and hopefully this won't okay please don't let that yeah it wasn't enough to kill me good good oh shit blade why do you all why is it with Pokemon that you always do a critical hit in the one circumstance when you don't want a critical hit? Like, I swear to fucking god. <sighs> well, whatever. <gasps> it's Chatot! Chatot is cute. Chatot is very cute. I hate it, but it's very cute. It's like one of the least good bird Pokemon, but it's very cute at least. Um... <laughs> I believe that actually does damage, yes. Um, which is great. I'll swipe. Hopefully that'll be enough to get it down to enough that... Fury attack, which missed. Okay, now we can use a... I'm gonna use a Great Ball. It's getting to the point where normal Pokeballs aren't actually catching at this point. Oh, you absolute cock. Are you... <sighs> well, whatever. Um, right. Is it that it needs... I'm actually not sure. Um, it just seems to not... Okay, let's switch in Sparky. Because Sparky has the advantage of not being affected that much by... Um... Flying type attacks, at least. Um... But I was expecting that to work. That did not work. That didn't even go through one stage. One. Two. No! Fuck you, Chantot! You're on one HP! You shouldn't... You're on one HP! <sighs> what about Nest Ball? No, well, on weaker Pokemon... Oh, that is the thing. That's for Dark. Uh, which we aren't in dark. It's it's currently like 556. That's not dark. Okay, Ultra Ball. Fuck you. Let's use Ultra Ball. It's fine. Come on. Work. <sighs> you know, Chatot, I am not happy right now. I am very not happy with this. You are you are testing my patience. Okay, Torn means I can only use physical, uh, I can only use direct attacks, but that's fine, okay? Nest Balls uh, works good because less than level 30, but it's not as good as a Great Ball, is it? Or an Ultra Ball, right? No, he was so close! Um, <laughs> uh, I just want a mod that changes all the shoots and stuff to, uh, uh, you know, like, to, like, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Maybe we should try Nest Ball. Maybe we should just try one. Okay, we're gonna try it, right? Okay, this is... This is... Okay. Oh my god, I hate everything right now. It's on 1 HP! I can't lower its HP anymore! The only thing I could do if I had Roselia was, um, you know, like, actually giving it something to... And we're out of those balls. Good. Um... <sighs> no, we're not. No, it was Nest Balls we were out of. I was thinking we were out of, uh, Timer Balls. I was like, wait, but there's Timer Balls left. Uh, no. Oh my god, wait, wait, what is the- hang on, hang on. Catch rate calculator. You know what, we're gonna try this. Gen 3 slash 4, yes. Uh, Pokemon, C, uh, for Chatot. Chat. Chatot, okay, Pokemon's level 28. Uh, exactly 1 HP. 
Uh, status none. Ball. I mean, we're using a great ball. I have a 19.752%. <sighs> Nest ball is better than an ultra ball if it's lower than level 19. Okay, but it's the same of a... Oh, okay, so a Nest ball is actually pretty good. It's just that, like... Okay, good. Thank you for that. I didn't... I, I don't know the maths of Pokemon. This is why I'm not doing a challenge run. Uh, but yeah, apparently it's a 19.752% capture rate chance, which is very weird. I didn't... Is Chatot quite a rare spawn in terms of the wild? I haven't seen it before, so I'm guessing it is, but it's just like a human's as a result. That's kind of creepy. Okay, for starters, two issues here. Okay, first, the idea of a bird with a human tongue is horrifying and I hate it. Second, you need more than just a human tongue to make human speech. You need a, you need like the mouth as well. Could shouldn't the shouldn't the beak get in the way a bit? Never mind, it's fine. Um fucking annoying bastard. Um <sighs> Right, let's just uh let's just go back and heal up a bit cuz that was surprisingly quite difficult. But um, <laughs> would have been way easier if I was just, try just trying to, um, murder the shit out of it. But no, I wasn't. Um, oh, uh, well, whatever. Maybe we'll take Roselia just because that seems like, Roselia seems like they might actually be kind of useful. Maybe they also have a human mouse inside their beaks. That's worse, good day, C that's worse, Caesar. Um, I... I, I don't like the idea of that. I I don't at all. They're like aliens, but instead of a weird mouth, they, they have a fucking human mouth. Ew, that's just... No. No. Um... <laughs> move Pokemon. Um, yeah, what I was going to do was... I was going to change over. Yeah, you for... Oh, shit, that's the only issue is, like... How high level are you? You know what, maybe we shift you out. No, I, I always like having Empoleon along just because I like Empoleon cursed. That is horrifying, yes. Um, it is, it is very much cursed. Right. You know what, Empoleon? Can you stick around here for a while? I... No, you know what? We, we have enough Pokemon we're training up right now. Uh... You know what, though? I went into that patch of grass thinking I would be able to level up really easily. Turns out I caught a few Pokemon as well, so that's nice. I'm never gonna- I'm never gonna stop thinking about Chatot with the human mouth now. This is- this is terrifying. How could you? Oh, Floatzel. Hello, Floatzel. How are you doing? God, maybe we can actually catch Floatzel this time. Uh, Aqua Jet. That is literally so weak. Oh, no. And then, wild. Shit. Okay. The wild Floatzel used agility, which raises its speed sharply. But it's literally pointless because you're already faster than me, so I don't know what you're doing that for. Hey, whatever. It's fine. Um, right. I hope Slash won't be enough to kill it. Um, if it is, meh, no big deal. There seem to be a lot of floatsels around. Hopefully, it won't be enough. Okay, Blade, you're supposed to... Oh, I could have just used False Swipe. That would have been a good one. Use false swipe. Just... <sighs> well, at least they seem to be pretty common here. Hey. Um... <laughs> right. Wing attack. Yeah, you're raising your speed. Wow, what a shame. Oh, God, I'm going to lose because of this. <sighs> well, whatever. Uh, false swipe. Swift. Ouch. That's gonna be painful. 
Eh, it's not that bad. Right. Cold Swipe is actually not that powerful. Ouch. Aha! One Pokeball for you. Awesome. Great ball in the face. That should be enough to catch you, hopefully. I said that should be enough to catch you, hopefully. I didn't say you could escape. Jeez. Right. Time to just keep spamming Pokeballs, I guess. Hey, there we go. We must have just got unlucky the first time. Or got lucky the second time. I will never know. God, I just wish once they were down to 1 HP, you could actually just... You could actually just, you know... Have a guaranteed capture on any Pokémon. That would be nice. But no! You can't just have easy stuff like that. Oh, fuck, it's Mr. Mime. Also, I forgot about... Well, I forgot about that. Hang on, can we run? Yep, we can. Good. God. Leveling up Pokemon is such a hassle, I swear. Right. Ah. <sighs> I wonder if the amount of steps we're doing means that we'll get the Pokemon to hatch. I don't know what kind of... Actually, that's a good point. I didn't actually check what kind of egg it was. Do we have any info on it? Aside from the fact it's definitely... Summary, yes. A mysterious Pokemon egg. The egg watch. What will hatch from it? Doesn't seem close to hatching. Oh, okay. It's not close to hatching, though, because, yeah, otherwise it would say close to hatching. Intriguing. I wonder if we just run around... Run a, I've been around the block at least once. Um, we run around the block a few times, maybe it'll hatch. I'm guessing not. Um, I never knew there were two... Because obviously there's the first egg, which is obviously, you know, it was... um. Uh, Togepi, but obviously this isn't going to be Togepi, because Togepi was a different Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see what exactly this Pokemon is. Well, Gastrodon used Rain Dance and it started raining. Oh no, what a shame. Oh dear. Right. Wing attack. <sighs> when do you think how close wait how close is uh Zagreus to leveling up summary yeah to so next level 3209. So about 10 more battles and it'll evolve. Okay, that makes sense. I suppose we could switch out and have it in first, but there seems to be a lot of ground and water types around here, so I'm not willing to risk that. That would be a bad idea. Right, wing attack. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so that would have been ground type or something, I guess. Um, it said, it just said don't, that wouldn't affect me. So maybe it was ground type. Maybe it doesn't have, maybe it, maybe it literally has the right characteristics to have a ground type hidden power. That's intriguing. Okay, but it failed. Wow, it turns out that you can't make it rain when it's already raining. It's not raining outside though, it's going to rain in real life. Oh yeah, if you use Rain Dance once, uh, it rains in the game. If you use Rain Dance twice, 
it rains in real life. Um, that's, that's what happens. Somewhere in the world it rained just when Gastrodon stopped. That's, that's how it works. Definitely. Oh, it's Mr. Fucking Mime. I hate Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime's so creepy. Oh, so gross. It's like the worst Pokemon. Like, there's some creepy Pokemon, but they're not Mr. Mime level creepy. And I'm not even scared of cl clowns. Oh, hate it. The Galarian, Galarian Mr. Mime is even worse. Ah. <sighs> Wild Floats will use Swift, which isn't too effective, I think. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Awesome. But yeah, we just keep training up. Eventually, eventually we'll get Azagrius up to being a Rapidash. You know? Um, although, I've just realized one thing I need to do. No, you know what? I'm going to avoid the temptation. I was going to go and buy a load of things so I didn't have to go back to town, but no. Don't waste your money on things when the, the poker center's right next door. Um, that's a bad idea. Right. Blade is doing A-OK. -okay. Slash. Pretty sure Slash isn't not very effective. Oh yeah, that's perfectly fine. That did a lot of damage. Good. 281. Zagreus gained 281. How close are we now? Um, summary, 1,866, okay, so yeah, not quite there yet, still, okay. I, the one thing I don't like is Gastrodon's sound, it's kind of creepy, it's kind of weird, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> really, really kind of weird. Ooh, hidden power. Please don't tell me that's super effective. No, it is. Wait, it is super. Fuck, I'm gonna have to switch you out. Good. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's not like I don't have any Pokemon that are really that good against a ground and water type. I guess Pippin's great. Um, right, Mud Bomb. Oh, that'll be super effective. Never mind! We're gonna switch you out for porridge! <laughs> now I just need to figure out- now I just need to try and remember what- if it's hidden power is super effective against flying, or is it super effective against bug? Or both? It's super effective, so I'm guessing flying then, yeah. Um, also, Astonish. Yep, that works against you just fine. The Wild Gastrodon flinched. Oh, we can keep it flinching all day. Oh, never mind. Uh, but, but it can't hit us because it's... Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. Um... Let's pretend that didn't just happen. Um... I think something just happened on my computer because the frame rate in uh, Thingy died too. And now I'm very confused because that, that sounded nightmarish. Um, whatever happened then, that was nightmarish. And I don't want to hear that happen again. What the fuck is, what the fuck just happened? Wait, is there something happening in the background in Task Manager? Not that I can see. The only two things that are really the only two things that are really happening are OBS and... Yeah, okay. I was thinking it would be like, oh yeah, there's there's this thing that... <sighs> well, whatever. It's fine. Ugh.
But that was a terrifying slowdown in the, uh, thingy. So, good, 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 I guess. Oh, no. Not a fan. Right. Also, I wonder... Is there anything new about you, Summary? It doesn't seem close to hatching. I'm guessing if you just walk around enough, it'll eventually hatch. Um, but hey, who knows? Right. Oh yeah, there's also the sun, I guess. Okay, let's take out this Floatzel then. Mm. Mm. Sorry, got really, got really yawny then for a second. I'm not sure if that slurp came up on stream, but I, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oops. Um, <laughs> so welcome to ASMR Pokemon, where we, uh, where we... <laughs> Slurp drinks and play Pokemon, and have haunted bits where the frame rate slows down a billion times. Uh, you know, classic stuff. God, I hate Mr. Mime. It's still weird that they never upgraded the sounds for ones that were, like, older. So you just have these these ones that sound like they're making really good sounds, like really high quality sounds, and then these ones from Gen 1 that are still making the same sounds and sound just so shit. And it's like... <laughs> oh, goodness. Fury Cut is great, by the way. I've realized, I have come to realize that uh, things like Fury Cutter actually really good like it takes a few turns to get up to speed but once you're up there you're like oh yeah you are just doing so much damage and also it'd be good against an hp tank that isn't very good uh with attacking too like oh that would be good oof also i keep on i keep on Scyther is Scyther keeps on taking too much damage. I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna evolve it. No, but I suppose the point is we already have a flying type on the team. Oh, but oh god, it's actually a really hard decision. I don't know what I want to do. And I don't I don't really Okay, because Scyther's great. Is Skizor better? That's that's the that's the thing that's running through my head. Which is better? I really hate Gastrodon. Gastrodon's little like squelching sound is the worst thing in the world, and it needs to stop. It needs to be stopped. Um, <laughs> forever. Please don't be super effective. Nope, it's not very effective at all. Good. God. Okay, right, this is fine. We can take you down in... Well, I was thinking that would be enough. Just because I was hoping it would be a critical, but it wasn't. Oh, well. Right. And yes, let's use a Fury Cutter just to get you down all the way to zero. Okay, and yeah. What level are you on again? Uh, level 35. And you're almost at level, yeah, level 40. All water ground ones are great, and I will not hear otherwise. They are, they are actually pretty good. It's just like, Gastrodon in particular has a really gross sound. Okay, like, they're really good Pokemon. It's just that Gastrodon's sound is gross and really disgusting. Um, I love Gastrodon as a Pokemon, just not its, uh, 
not the sound it makes. Right, Slash. That should be enough to take you down. Bye, Mr. Mime. Oh, what a shame. Right. We managed to take them down without any hassle whatsoever. Oh, and it's a fucking Chatot. Okay. I love how Chatot kind of looks, like, suspicious. Like, oh, I know what you're up to. You're going to smash me with a slash. Slash you, even. That would be a better word for it, not smash, because... I feel like smash implies blunt object, whereas slash implies, you know, sharp object. Um... Zagreus is almost a level 40, okay? We will get it to level 40 so it evolves into a Rapidash soon. I just don't want to use it in these battles because it's like, oh yeah, now we have just water and ground Pokemon all the fucking way home. It's just, okay, cool. This is, this is great. Oh, uh, well... Well, at least Hidden Power wasn't super effective. Right. Perfect. Rain Dance. It did just use Rain Dance again. <sighs> you know, you're not supposed to just use Rain Dance all the time, you know? Like, the whole point is you start it raining and then it keeps raining, okay? Oh shit, it started raining outside. No, it hasn't. Um. <laughs> and Zagreus is up to level 40, which means... Oh, this is the level. This is it. Oh, yeah. Ponyta into Rapidash, which is... Okay, I will admit, Rapidash is great. Everything except the name is great. The name lacks creativity. Rapid Dash. Like... Wait, what are they learning? What, what are they- what are they learning? Fury Attack is jabbed repeatedly with a horn or... No, why would I learn that over any of these? It's literally... No. Fury at No. Anyway, yes. Uh, so that's uh, a level 40 Rapidash. Like, they could have come up with some fancy water. There was some fancy fire slash, um, you know, thingy, fire, horse, pardon aside. Like, couldn't they? Couldn't they? At all? I suppose Ponyta doesn't have it either, but like, they could try a bit harder, in all honesty. I think it's a double pun. Wait, is it? I like that it's a double pun. Wait, is it? Is it a double pun? Oh god, I'm gonna have to look up the name origins in a second. Um... Okay. Wait, Rapidash. I'm looking up the name origins. Um... A uh, trivia name origin, a uh, rapid and dash. Oh, because it's rapid and ash, reference to fire type. Right. I didn't think about that. I just thought I would. I just. I was just getting annoyed at the fact that. Well, now I feel slightly silly. Um, <laughs> I. I was like, oh yeah, it just. But yeah, I forgot that Ash is a word for something to do with fire. Um, you know, classic stuff. I, I, I feel like, I feel like anyone could have made that mistake. Um, level 30. I mean, Gardevoir would be, no, not useful in a steel type gym, unless we go up against steel and fighting. I guess. The problem is, there's, there is one, there is at least one steel and fighting type. Uh, which means that, yes, not exactly useless. But also there's other things that combat steel and fighting that 
are probably more universally useful. Uh, yeah, and you can come out. Uh, I think, I think we'll leave you here for now. Um, item, take the EXP share, and then, yeah. We will give, I mean the Chinese name of Horse of Roaring Flame. The Chinese name is Horse of Roaring Flames, and you can't be that. I mean, that is very good, to be fair. That is one of my favorites. I believe, I can't remember, there was another one that was really good, that I thought, yes, this is just such a good name. Right. Okay, who are we going to give the EXP share to? Oh shit, the other thing was... Wait, did we get... No, we got Roselia. Now, the issue I've... Hmm, I'm just thinking about... Okay... Okay. I think I've decided. For starters, I'm getting you out. Uh, but also, what we're gonna do? Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um. You're level thirty six. You're level thirty nine. Okay, Empoleon, uh, Pippin, just stay here for a while. It's fine. Um, we're just doing some trading up, so you know. No, why am I taking more than like that many? I always like, I always, I always hate take, look, I always like having my starter Pokemon on me. It's just nice. My starter Pokemon is my best companion, you know, like. Oh god, uh, who else do we replace though? I suppose Luxray. This is hard. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we definitely want Sisyphus on us because I wanted to make you level up. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Sparky can stay off for a bit because we're not really doing much leveling up with Sparky for now. Right, and that should be fine. I have... I... I don't know. I just like having my... My, um... Starter Pokemon on me because... I don't know, it's the first Pokemon I got in the game, and I'm literally just the worst at switching out Pokemon. I always feel bad leaving a Pokemon in the PC. It just... I just feel so bad. Uh... But yeah, we now have Thingy back, which is good. Um, and... Wait, did we give you an item? Hang on. Wait, did I give you an item? When did I give you an item? What did I... Summary, what item are you holding? Soothe Bell, that means you like me more. Summary, we can probably... We can probably take the item now. Uh, take... I think that's fine. Uh, we won't give you an EXP share just yet. I want to do a little bit of leveling up with just Machoke for a second. Hopefully that'll go okay. Um, hopefully this won't be... Yeah, this is a float tool. Okay, good. Ooh, pardon me. I love float tool, by the way. Float tool is so cool. That's not very effective. Why would you do that? You just use a not very effective move against me and I'm like literally like... Anyway, it's fine. Uh, 737. Awesome. Hopefully, hopefully I've remembered to install the, uh, to use the randomizer to sort out this. Uh, because otherwise this isn't gonna go well, is it? Anyway, uh, it's fine. Right, low kick. Low kick is a super powerful move, especially since a lot of second evolutions are very heavy. So, you know, this is, this is, um, an interesting one. I've not really had much use for it up until, like, recently, but it's a weirdly powerful move when you get to this point, when you're, like, fighting against Pokemon that are massive and therefore you get a load of power bonus. And often the massive ones are also, you know, 
like fucking gigantic rock type Pokemon and steel type Pokemon, which means, you know. Okay, why would you use special defense against a fighting type? Because it's literally all just fucking. Never mind, it's fine. Right, and yeah. Psybeam, ouch. Come on, Machoke, hold on. Come on, Sisyphus. You can do this. You can! You did! Hooray! I'm glad. I'm glad you managed to do that, at least. Nice. 582 up to level 38. Please tell me I've installed the randomizer and it's actually gonna evolve. Shit. Um. <sighs> Hang on. Um. Technical notes. Okay. Come on. Hollow Toad. Okay, that is a good point. I suppose the other thing I could try is, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna um give. We're gonna we're gonna actually go for it. We're gonna use a a um. A metal coat, our metal coat, to give to you. Would you like to switch the two items? Yeah, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over to a rare candy. Is this gonna work? Okay. Shit! I haven't installed the randomizer. Or I haven't done it properly, one of the two. Well, that's slightly awkward. Um... Why the randomizer? Uh, because it, it removes trade-only, uh, it removes trade-only evolutions. Uh, which means that you can actually, uh, trade, you can actually, uh, level them up. Uh, you can actually evolve them without having to trade them, because obviously with an emulator you can't trade Pokémon. And, uh, yeah, it removes that. I've just somehow messed up and either installed it wrong, or... Ah, uh, well, it has the function to do that, at least. Um... That's the only thing I use it for, is that. Um, but... I guess... Now I'm feeling slightly... Annoyed. Right, time to just figure this out quickly because otherwise this is going to be. Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save, save state as. Yep, if we're gonna just. States, um, yeah, right. I'm gonna just uh, sort this out. Uh, platinum, Esri, pre rando, um, pre rando, yes. Um, okay, right. Let's let's just sort this out quickly. Oh my god, I got it working. Yes, we have we have the right thing. And it doesn't look broken. Ah! Also, thank you. The the alerts, the alerts took me forever. I I went I I trawled through uh lots of lots of gifts to get the um to get the uh gifts because I've been watching the Pokemon anime. It's kind of my comfort show at the moment, and I was like, you know what we should have? Since I'm doing a lot of Pokemon right now, we should have um Pokemon based alert things. Because basically I'm going through my Pokemon phase at 21. Uh, <laughs> which is admittedly slightly odd, but hey, um, also, how long do you have until you reach the next- oh my god. So much. Okay, right. Um, Esri. 
any way we can check this out just like really quickly. Um, I really want to be able to just like... Do I have another like thing? Um... Rare candy? No, I do not. Good, so what we have to do is just... Summary, okay. Okay, we're just gonna do a bit of training. I suppose we could go back into the, uh, whatchamacallit. But anyway, oh fuck. You know what I forgot about? I forgot about, I forgot about Mr. Mime being one of the things that could appear here. Uh, right. Use Reflect, hopefully. Okay, this is, this is my hope. Once we get up to level, whatever, once we get up to level, 39, Sisyphus will actually evolve. Potentially. Um, <laughs> potentially. This is, this is a very up in the air thing, uh, depending on whether I did this right. But it seems like nothing else is broken, so I suppose that's nice. Um, <laughs> Oh my god, I send out the fighting Pokemon and all I get are Mr. Mimes. Clearly this game knows. Clearly the game knows. Maybe the randomizer's just trolling me now? This is ridiculous. But hey. Right. <laughs> oh fuck it, substitute. I hate fucking substitute. Um... God. Although it is a pretty interesting thing. Um, it's just annoying as fuck. Um, the wild Mr. Mime used light screen, but it failed. Yeah, substitute is basically just, oh yeah, this person gets a complete shield, uh, but loses some health. Which I suppose is the, you know, um, the trade-off, but it's a very annoying move, even then. Right. God. Gastrodon. Gastrodon is a great name, by the way. It's a great name for a Pokemon. I just fucking hate its sound that goes, it has a kind of moist, kind of smacking lips sound or something. It's really bad. Anyway. Thank you for following Good Day Caesar, by the way. I didn't mention that. I was, I was on mute at the time, but thank you very much for the follow. Right, 754. Awesome. Yeah, we just need to keep on doing this, basically. We'll have it up to level 39 in no time. Ah. But yeah, um, the reason why the reason why I went and found this randomizer was a it will be quite a lot of fun to try some of the other things it does. At some point, maybe do, you know, like upgrade. Okay, because I believe there's one thing that up updates level stats to how they changed in levels in Generation Six because apparently they changed a bit in Gen Six, the base stats for each Pokemon, um, and, uh. Yeah, basically there's that, it does that. There's also things that literally remove all the, um... I'll, I'll actually put a link in chat, just because it's actually a really interesting thing. Um, for starters, I'll, I'll just, I'll just link... I'll link this, uh, page first, because this is the one... This shows you what it replaces each, uh, thing with, each, uh impossible evolution with. So basically that that I just posted in chat is the thing that I'm using right now. Uh, and what it does, it basically has stuff. Poker hacks. Yep, it is. It is honestly that. It random, it can randomize pretty much everything, but also it has like the update to Gen 6 stats. I f don't think it has a thing to add fairy type. I believe some other hacks do, but that one doesn't. 
Uh, it also has, obviously, the ability to... Yep, they are great. Honestly, yeah. I was considering for this doing Pokemon Renegade uh, Platinum as my as this playthrough, but I didn't like it. I thought it changed the game too much and made it way too easy to get all the rare Pokemon. And I got partway through and I was like, I got like an hour in and I was getting all the starter Pokemon for Gen 1 through 3. And I was like, I'm not actually liking this at all. This isn't... This isn't fun at all. And I was, it was like, okay, I have like 50 Pokemon. Reminded me, I gotta do a big Sims 4 mod sesh. Ooh, that'd be fun. Um, have you, I imagine you've thought of streaming? Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. I, I imagine you've thought of streaming Sims 4, right? And yeah, that's gone. It's not very effective. But yeah, uh, Sims 4 has a lot of mods, doesn't it? I need to... Yeah, it's been on the list for a while. Ah, fair enough. I mean, there are a lot of games to stream on there. Okay, right. This is the moment of truth. It worked! Huzzah, yes! The poker hacks worked. Okay. Hey, The weird, I don't like Machamp's design. It looks like two people just like merged together into one. Like, look at this. It just... It just looks like there's there's one person here and then another person and they both just share a head. And also, where did these second arms come from? Like, it never had anything develop devolves into Machop. That would be that would be <laughs> hilarious. But also, I would cry so hard right then. Um, let's switch you out for you. Okay, Blade, Ricky's fave mon Pokemon mall. I mean. Personally, I don't like the design, but also, you know, it's pretty cool. I can see why Ricky isn't, isn't, isn't Machamp just, though, like, um, the, the, that one person he, he, he made in, uh, CK3. Like, his battle revolution animation is hilarious, he's too buff for him to walk normally. Amazing. I love the, I, I love the fact that Machamp is basically just buff Jimbro, um, <laughs> with four arms this time. If you, as as we all know, if you do enough working out, um, <laughs> if you do enough working out, you grow another pair of arms out of, like, the sides of your neck. Like Frankenstein, but instead of bolts, just arms. Um, <laughs> that's even more Frankenstein than, than the original. Um, right, and yeah, 737, transition goals, wow, <laughs> what, the forearm thing, uh, like, with respect to the extra arms specifically, yeah, just, um, wait, what are those, what are those six-armed, uh, things in Greek mythology, uh, because I feel like, I feel like, um, I'm just imagining you as one of those now, um, when you trans- <laughs> when you're transi- fully transitioned and stuff. Like, that would be pretty interesting. Also, imagine being able to play Fortnite with six controllers on three computers at once. Oh, wow. That's- that's the main thing for having multiple arms, is to play more video games. Uh... Jeg- <laughs> Gedgenies, Gedgenies, Jed, Jagenies, Ged, Gedgenies, Gajeens, Gajeens. Uh, yes, that's. that's <laughs> I remember learning about them once randomly when I streamed um, Hades, and I was like, there were people with six arms in Greek mythology. Um. 
I always think of them as similar to, in my head, I think of them as similar to Cyclops, um, which I've realized just means that I think means any, I've realized that Cyclops is just my stand-in for any mythical creature that has a different number of limbs and or other attachments uh, than, than, you know, a, like a typical humanoid shape. I'm like multiple arms. Oh, Cyclops. Um. <laughs> it's um. It's one of those. It's in. It's it's you know like. My brain just goes Cyclops as soon as I think of as soon as I think of one. Also, one thing I don't understand. Uh, I suppose it's probably something that I should. Never mind. I'll look it up at some point. Um, what, what? How it got the name Cyclops? Because, as far as no, it doesn't. Never mind. I was thinking Cyclops meant two because of bicycle or cycle. No, but by means two in bicycle. Um. If anything. A uh, cyclops should mean it has one wheel. Um, <laughs> it's just a one-wheeled uh, mythical monster. It's just a unicycle. Um, someone saw a unicycle and thought, "Oh my god!" and then um, mistook it eventually for bisexual cyclops. Honestly, um, it's my transition goals. Um. <laughs> Use Fury Cutter. Awesome. Oh my god, it's gonna keep on doing this, isn't it? Of course it is. I mean, until it faints and then it can't do it again. Um, right. Hopefully, we'll be able to hit it. A critical hit is super effective. The Wild Mime use. It was too weak to make the substitute. Oh no. So it doesn't allow you to just faint and leave your substitution there. Like, I'm dead over here, but my substitution can just battle instead. Um. I also like the idea that I am now just, like, fucking slaughtering everything in this patch of grass to gain levels. Also, yeah. Okay, this is the point where we decide... Do... Oh no. Because if I trade it out, if I change it out, then it can't... Wait, what item are you holding? Are you actually holding the thing? Summary. You are holding the metal coat. Okay. Right. Either... We switch it out at some point in this fight and it doesn't evolve into a schizor. Otherwise, it is going to evolve at the end of this fight because it's going to gain a level, which means it will go over to... Oh, God. What do I do? Oh, goodness. Schizor is very... Also, I can cancel the evolution. Never mind. I can cancel the evolution if I make a decision decision part way through. Dish. Decision. Yeah, I keep forgetting that you can just press the B button. Oh, damn. That's... Want to learn the move double team, but can't learn more than four moves. You know what? Double team is very good. Mmm. Oh, God. Okay, right. Hang on. Hang on. Before we before we do this, I am just going to I am just going to look up Skizzle. Yeah, so Okay. 
Okay, so if I get if I get both of these up, how do I? Okay, because Scyther is game data. Wait, um, how can I can I can I see its like base stats? Okay, attack at level. Okay, so it's very fast. Skizor, um, it, 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 hang on, stats, base stats. Okay, so basically Skizor is a trade-off. You get, uh, much less in terms of speed, but its defense shoots up, as does its attack, and then also... Huh... That's a good point. Okay, so... I'm not gonna make it learn double team just yet. Cause, well, I can make it... Hmm... It does become quad weak to fire, remember that. Yes, that is a good point. But at the moment it's quad weak to electric. Cause both... Wait, bug is weak to electric, isn't it? Um... I'm pretty sure bug's weak to electric. Um... Um, bug... No, strong against, weak against... No, it isn't! Okay, never mind. Never mind, I don't think it is. No, it isn't. I thought it was because it made sense in my head. But... Yes. It gains a load of defense, and I have noticed that it is, you know, trailing behind in terms of, uh, yeah, in terms of its, um, I have, I have noticed that it's been trailing behind in it, its, uh, Oh, God. <sighs> that is an issue, yeah, the, bu the quad weak to fire is an issue. But it is already only... semi-weak to fire, so... Oh, God. This is actually quite a hard decision. Okay. Props to, props to whoever designed Scyther and then Skizor. Skizor and Scyther, very different Pokemon and it's almost a choice. It's a very much a choice as to whether you want them to evolve. Hmm. It's like... It's a hard choice because there's a lot of differences and I'm not sure what to go for because Scyther is technically our fast Pokemon I guess but also the bug type thing is the important bit and having that extra attack and defense would be pretty good I'm just not a hundred percent sure about having it um Hmm. They literally have the same stats. Wait, they... Do they? They don't have the same base stats. Wait, they don't have the same base stats. Or wait. Um... Or will they have the same stats just because... They literally... Wait, do they? I'm looking at the base stats and they're definitely different. Um, on, on thingy. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Right, never mind. Okay, we're just gonna... Hmm. No, you know what? We're gonna make you learn this. Uh, forget a move. Yeah. If you know this going in, then we can make you learn it again. 
We're gonna make you learn, I mean, total stats. Okay, right. Base stats are definitely different, but total stats is fine. So yeah, we're not losing anything. You know what? We're going for it. Does your team has have a bigger weakness to fire or rock? Um, honestly, I think rock. No, wait, we're gonna leave it a level. We're gonna leave it a level because I'm not ready. I'm not ready to make that decision. No, no. Okay, the thing is, okay, we have, we have, we have too many Pokemon. Um, I need to, s I, I have way more than, uh, I have way more than six Pokemon, that's the issue. And that I'm using regularly. You have Pippin to resist and be, or be neutral against most things. That is a good point. Uh, we do have that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, our current common team is not Togepi, really. Um, I'm not really using Kadabra either because I like Thingy more. Okay, because our our current team uh is uh a Rapidash, Sparky, Eli, uh not Eli, um Rapidash, Luxray, who is our fast Pokemon, I guess. But also, like, there's no universal weakness. We don't really have anything that's super weak against anything. And what I think my eventual team is going to end up being is... I don't think I'm going to end up with Machamp in there, because I don't really like Machamp that much. And then Sparky in for the egg, obviously. And then maybe God of War in for one of them. And I don't see... Oh. It is quite hard to decide about this. We don't really need a psychic. We don't really need a pure psychic type. Although, yeah, because we already have flying to resist fighting. Fighting and ghost. Uh, yeah, that's a really powerful tank Pokemon. Luxray to work again. I'm not going for a universal all-round team, by the way. It's just that I'm... Yeah, I think my eventual team is going to be something like this. I mean, obviously, I've been doing a lot of training up with a lot of different Pokemon for different gyms and stuff, because, you know, also Driftblim is just a great HP tank. Yes, I have noticed that it's falling behind a bit, but that's just because it's underleveled and we need to do some leveling up with it. Um... Roserade is probably where we're going next. We're gonna level you up a bit more and then turn you into a Roserade. I think turning Scyther into a... Yeah, that gives us a way bigger resistance. Oh, but also it's... Okay, the biggest change, and this is one of those ones that I'm... that's seriously causing me pause for doubt, uh, pause for thought, is, okay, we're going from Scyther can't be hit by ground-type moves to Scyther gets, uh, is, is hit super effective. It's like, all ground-type moves are super effective because I think Steel is, um, Steel is weak against, no, it isn't weak against ground. Wait, hang on. No, that's Pokemon Go, never mind. Um, for some reason, Ground-type does seem to have a really good effect against Empoleon. And I'm not sure why. Oh fuck, I accidentally started up an app. Okay, right, basically what we're doing now is we're just uh, doing a bit of a... Hang on, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Uh, close the thing so I can mute the mic so I can blow my nose because it's tickling. Uh, definitely not min-maxing, I'm just thinking about whether Scyther is better as Scyther because I don't really have a preference in terms of... Oh, but I do like Scyther. I think Scyther is cooler than Schizor. That's the thing. But yeah, you 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 do have a point that um that 
uh, neutral from ground is what we'd end up with. So it's just a times... Yeah, it's going from zero to two. Oh, God. This is actually quite hard. This is quite a hard decision. But also... Oh, my moves... See, the thing is, the move set for Scyther is really good right now. And I personally like having its flying type attacks. And its bug type attacks. Oh, God. I'm seriously really stuck here. This is, this is... Oh, this is hard. I'm seriously kind of stuck over this. Um, move tutor can reteach the flying moves, if I recall correctly. But... But, uh, Schizor doesn't get the same type advantage, which has been a savior on multiple time, on multiple occasions. Uh... For com and I'm not going for completing the decks, so I don't know why I'm saying about that. Missing one Pokemon in the decks isn't exactly the worst thing in the world. Um... Oh god. It's really hard to choose, actually. This is- this is something I've not really experienced before. Most of the times I've had like, oh yeah, you know, like, Mama Swine is just better Pillow Swine, and, you know, like, it was, wasn't a hassle to do that. That was like, oh yeah, this is good. But because it changes such drastically from Bug and Steel, Bug and Fly- Flying to uh, Bug and Steel, I'm having issues with... Hmm. Also, I have to- I have to bear in mind, some things double up, like... For example, bug type is resists ground. Bug type resists poison, but also steel type isn't affected at all by poison. I, th I'm 90% sure that's what, um, that's what's happening right there. Um, uh, Gen four. Um. Gen 1, 2 to 5, okay. Oh god. Attacking. Yeah, steel doesn't have any effect. Could always put it a poll if you feel stuck. Yeah, I could. Oh goodness. I've been thinking about this for ages, and I think it's maybe a sign I should put it up to a poll, or something. I don't know. Let's make a poll to decide whether I should do a poll. See, this is where my indecision comes in. I'm like, oh yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um... Oh... I'm not even going for min-maxing. The thing is, I just want to have... A team that, you know, like, I've not really noticed an issue with, huh, no, you know what, I've made up my mind, I think I've made up my mind, um, I think, I think I'm gonna leave Cypher as is for now, and that might change because I'm not sure about how I'm gonna feel in a bit, but I like having... I, I already have types that resist. I I already have a steel type Pokemon. And the quad weakness to fire is the biggest thing. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it for now. But there might be a poll in future to decide. Um I just like I just like Scyther more. That's that's the thing. I'm like is it, it maybe my liking of Scyther is going to hinder 
uh, me in future, but hey, we can always just level up instead. It is a quite a flimsy Pokemon, but it is fast. That's the thing. Oh god, that is... A difficult decision to make. But yeah, this is my current team, which is, you know... Also, I don't know what's going to be in, in the egg. I'm intrigued by what's going to be in the egg. That's, that's the one thing I am very much interested in. Ah, <sighs> okay. Yeah, I think I'll leave it for now. Sorry, everyone, the, the poll isn't happening today because I think I've decided what I'm going to do, which is leave it uh, as a side of now. And obviously we can give it, I need to, I need to take that item from it, because otherwise I will forget at some point. And panic. Uh, item, take, yeah. And we'll give it, uh, the... Come on, where is it? We just need to give it the silver powder, yes. Okay, right, we're not going for democracy, we're going for a dictatorship. And anyone who disagrees gets scythed by Scyther's claws, or snipped by Skizz's snipper claws. Um, anyway, yeah, I think, I think I might leave it there, just because I'm very, I'm very, yeah, no, wait. Oh god, now I'm on, now I'm indecisive about whether to finish up or not. Well, honestly, I don't have anything else to do. I've done the leveling up I wanted to do. The only thing is... Roselia. And that is... Yeah, Roselia turning into Roserade is what I was thinking. Hmm. Yeah, like, we obviously have a lot of these already leveled up as much as we need. Um, you don't need leveling up, so I might switch you out for Roselia. And then we can give you the AXP share and get you up a few levels before we, um... No, wait. Um... Wait, was there something I was gonna give? Yeah, give you the AXP share because you're, uh, getting... No, in fact, you could just go up against things for now. But yeah, um, I think, I think we'll put you up front. But yeah, um, I think I'll leave it there for now. Just because, yeah, we've done, we've done a lot of training and I need some time to think on the Scyther decision, although I think I've made up my mind. And also, I'm quite tired and also it's getting late and I'm hungry. So I need to go and get food and also, yeah, I'll, um, obviously be back tomorrow with more of this at, uh, nine o'clock. Uh, British summertime. So yeah, thank you everyone for coming along. This is, it was weird. This has been quite a popular stream, uh, even though it was a very last minute stream. So thank you everyone for coming along even so last minute. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, my indecision and also, you know, panicking part way through because I hadn't installed the thing I meant to. Good night, enjoy your supper. Thank you, uh, Seth. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. And I will let the uh, tune for Have a Good Day, friend. Thank you. Uh, you too. Have a good day, everyone. And yeah, um, I will let the thingy, the tune of Canalove City, play you out. <laughs>